to jest ta, patrzcie. To ta Gypsy Mow od Franciska Chichestera. Ale zdecydowanie czymś takim można płynąć dookoła świata. Today we set up the River Beauty to Buckler's Heart. This was a traditional ship building center from where they launched ships in the 18th century. We came here today on our friend Richard's yacht Seraphim. And now we are going sizing. Immediately we spot something amazing. I couldn't believe my eyes. Gypsy Moth 4 is the boat on which Francis Chichester sat single-handed around the world. Dowiedziałam się, że to jest ta Gypsy Moth. To jest ta łódka, która Francis Chichester płynął dookoła świata. Tam się w Australii gdzieś zatrzymał coś takiego. To jest ta. Patrzcie. I can even touch her. Francis Chichester, or Sir Francis Chichester, I should say, was an English pilot and sailor. He was known for many things, including his pioneering flight and inventions, but he wrote his name in the history books as a sailor. What's more, he sailed around the world when he was 67, so all of us of a certain age still have time. That's not old when you are a sailor. As Alexandra making your next episode for you on YouTube alongside Gypsy Moth 4. She's going to capture every inch of that hole. As the Chichester came around the horn, Gypsy Moth 4 was hilled over 140 degrees. Chichester estimated this angle based on the mark left by a wine bottle on a bulkhead. The moral of the story is never go to sea without wine. Ale zdecydowanie czymś takim można płynąć dookoła świata. Ta. Buckler's Heart is the perfect place to build ships because the natural ebb and flow of the tide create a natural boat yard. The source of wood, English oak like this, was also nearby. This all made it an ideal location to build ships. So this is where they um, used to make a cut out of the boats for us. One here and one there. So they used to build the boats here. Mm -hmm. And then when the tide came in, they floated them off. Down to Portsmouth. And then into Portsmouth for fitting up the armaments. But it was the perfect place for it. We've got the oak yep. behind. Yep. Cottages like from a fairy tale. If the fairy tale were set in Georgian times, let's look inside. Such a simple life, one might envy it. Although in this idyllic picture we don't see the lack of antibiotics, dentists, and other modern things we take for granted. Kobietka nie miała problemu z tym, że pralka nie ma jakiegoś programu albo że się plama nie doprała. To takie sporo miejsca. Oh, 
they even have a cat, which has found the best spot to lie. Something's never changed, huh? There is history in every corner in here. This cannon was fired when Chichester returned in Gypsy Moth. Can you imagine building something like this but full size? And all without modern tools. Amazing! We don't have a great drone but I can do my own overhead shots of this boat. Oh, this is interesting. A bird eye view of Buckler's heart. Where are the dogs? Where are the cottages? And I can see why the houses were laid out as they are, so the wood could be brought down to the boatyard. And here, 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 is the marina where we stopped today. Some tradition lasts forever at sea. I used a sail making palm like this to do some repairs on our spray hood. It worked because I only stabbed my hand a few times. I can't do coking like this on Amneris because she's fiberglass. Nevertheless, good skills for a sailor to have. Another interesting exhibition here is about the sinking of the Persia, a British ocean liner. On board were more than 500 people, including Lord Bewley and his assistant Eleanor Thornton. To ona, ta Leonora, jest, była modelką do zrobienia figury, tej, które za rozrośnie. Tej takiej kobietki. O, to właśnie była Eleonora jako modelka. Na tej Persji to w ogóle niewiele osób przeżyło, bo została sterpetowana przez ubota i to zatopnęła ile? 5 minut? Szybciusieńko. Niektórzy przeżyli, jak Lord Baron, jego asystentka nie. Hmm. We are heading back to the River Humble now, running with the tide towards Southampton. But there is something interesting. This is the Arcadia. And the long way in front is the pilot. The, the pilot is so far away because officers on the bridge on the ships can't see anything closer than 1000 meters in front and 100 meters to the side. Those are huge blind spots and it's why we sailors should give plenty of room to big vessels like this. If we don't, this is what happens. That's all for now. Join us next time and in the meantime, feel free to buy us a coffee using the link below and to like this episode and subscribe. Bye!